In this video, we're going to look at a few ways that you can optimize the mesh that you're working on whenever you switch from voxel mode sculpting to surface mode sculpting in 3D Coat. Now, the major difference between the two is that you are working on volumetric pixels in a 3D grid when you're in volume mode or voxel mode. And what's happening is you have an outer mesh using the marching cubes algorithm that is optimized for quickly remeshing on the fly for performance sake, but it's not ideal if you wanted to sculpt on that geometry itself. So let's look at this. I'm going to zoom in. I'm in volume mode. If I hit the wireframe hotkey, I can toggle that on. And I can see this is fine if, uh, if I want to do a little bit of sculpting here. It remeshes as I am brushing. Okay, but I'm actually not deforming or modifying the geometry itself. I'm actually pushing voxels, turning them on or turning them off. And it's this mesh that, as a secondary action, is reforming or it's remeshing to fit that new volume. Okay, so when I switch to surface mode and start sculpting, if I turn wireframe off, you can see it's rather jagged. Okay, where I sculpted in voxel mode, it's not. It's nice and smooth. But when I'm in surface mode, it looks a bit problematic. Now, I could smooth if I want to try and get rid of that as I work, and that may be fine. Another option you have is you can turn on remove stretching. And as you sculpt, you can see the jagged edges in some areas, but as soon as I let up from my cursor, it automatically remeshes or it re uh, optimizes the mesh. And the purpose behind it is to remove any stretching as the name implies. But it's also good at smoothing the mesh or smoothing the stroke as well. If we zoom in, you can see what happened here. It basically decimated this area. Okay, and as I brush over it, it changes the structure, basically decimates in this local area. So you're both sculpting and decimating what you're sculpting in the area that you're sculpting as you brush. So this is somewhat optimizing what you're working on as you're brushing. But if you wanted to optimize the entire structure before you start here, okay, what you could do, I'm going to undo a few times. Okay. What you can do is you can use Smooth All before, uh, before you start sculpting. Once you're in surface mode, before you start sculpting, you'd want to click Smooth All. But I want to quickly show that uh, instead of having to always reach down here to the bottom, instead of having to scroll to the bottom of your tool panel, you can hit the space bar to bring the tool panel to you. And here at the bottom, click on Smooth All. Or you can assign a hotkey to it by hitting the End key on your keyboard. That's E-N-D. Now you can assign the hotkey of choice to it. In this case, I chose Shift S. Okay. So now when I switch to surface mode, it's relatively quick, and I can hit Shift S to bring up the Smooth All dialog. And I have some new options available to me. The main options is Tangent Smooth or Relaxing. Relaxing works in a similar fashion as any 3D application where you apply a relaxing routine to it. It averages the vertices and or averages the spacing of the vertices, I should say. But as a side effect of that, it can relax a bit too much the shape overall. Sometimes that's what you want, sometimes it's not. So tangent smoothing is going to relax the geometry, however, it's going to, at the same time, try to preserve the shape. So it's ideal whenever you're working with hard surface models where you want to maintain a crisp edge 
or maybe you've done some work in areas where you've done a lot of details or you've done a lot of detail work in a certain area and you want to maintain that uh, tangent smoothing is perfect for that situation okay so you could choose that and maybe bump the smoothing degree up to three or four uh, it's one by default okay takes a few seconds if I zoom in you can see it spread them out quite a bit and so now I turn wireframe off and now when I sculpt I'm not seeing those issues any longer I could just keep sculpting keep sculpting and no problem at all okay another option you can choose is clean surface you can assign a hotkey that as well and what that does is it's almost identical to this remove stretching remove stretching works locally it's going to apply decimation or optimization locally but clean surface will do that to the entire object so that may take a little bit longer to calculate 30 seconds or so All right so probably the best way to work is again just assign a hotkey Let me show just how quick it can be. Okay, so again, we're in volume mode, and when you want to switch, go ahead and switch. Shift S, just hit OK. It'll take a few seconds, and now you're ready to start sculpting and not have any issues at all with that uh, those patterns. Okay. One other small option I want to mention is you can always, here in the Shift Action menu or the Control Shift Action menu, you can assign different smoothing types. Add Detail can smooth out jagged edges uh, as well. It's giving you more geometry, so that's naturally going to smooth it out. Uh, extra Detail is going to dynamically tessellate with you know just to a higher level or a little bit more intense uh, tessellation so it's almost like using live clay without having any depth value at all so again those are just some options that you may want to use whenever you decide to do some sculpting in surface mode okay i hope that helps and happy sculpting